All right. I've got everyone standing by. Let me just say three little words. This is ridiculous. I want to hone in on one point, and we're all going to chat, because a lot of this is however many days into this presidency and now acknowledging that, all right, yes, it was, you know, Russia who meddled. Uh, it's the slip of the tongue, or I should say apparent slip of the tongue, that the president is honing in on, that the word would versus wouldn't, and when he was speaking about this in Helsinki. In case you missed it, let's hone in on the soundbite. Let's roll it. And Dana, I'm coming to you. In a key sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't or why it wouldn't be Russia. So just to repeat it, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. And the sentence should have been, and I thought it would be maybe a little bit unclear on the transcript or unclear on the actual video. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. So you can put that in, and I think that probably clarifies things pretty good by itself. Clarifies things pretty good by itself. Dana Bash. What? If, on, if only that entire spectacle, uh, unbelievably, historically embarrassing spectacle, could have been and could be fixed with an N and an apostrophe and a T. I mean, yeah. that is about as, as far of a stretch as any one of us could imagine. I mean, I guess he gets points for being creative there. Um, <laughs> maybe that was the one so. sentence that could have been different. But what about calling... Vladimir Putin strong and tough. What about not calling him out on the world stage, uh, never mind interfering in American elections, calling him out on Crimea, calling him out on, uh, on the poisoning of, uh, of, uh, of a, somebody in Britain, and the list goes on and on and on. I mean, that was one sentence that, they're trying, that he is trying to clarify. Okay, that's fine. That's all well and good. But it, oh, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but what he just did, almost makes what happened yesterday worse worse yeah. right. almost yeah. makes it worse because this is so not who he is he is mr as we were talking about double down triple down and he's yep. reading from a paper that um who knows who wrote for him as yep. gloria and i were texting uh, during this maybe the, the entire white house uh, got together to write for him he was trying very hard to go along with this damage control that he he was told he needed to do but saying that it was because he didn't say wouldn't and said would, never mind all the things, the other things he said, and more importantly, all the other things he didn't say that he should have yeah. to and about you Vladimir know, Putin. It, it, the old double negative defense, right? I mean, come on, this is, this is absurd. Uh, you know, give me a break here. This president looked like he was in a hostage tape reading, reading a script that others had written for him that he did not, he clearly did not want to read, but he was told you absolutely had to read. And at the few moments where he allowed himself to be Donald Trump, he said something uh, that will give Republicans pause because when he said he accepted the conclusion of the intelligence agencies, he then went on to say in his real Donald Trump voice, he then went on to say, it could be other people yeah. also. There are yes. a lot of people out there. Well, there we go. So we're back to where we were uh, during yeah. the campaign with the 400 pound person in the basement. So, you know, uh, Donald Trump can't get over himself. It's clear this was forced upon him by his staff. Mm -hmm. It's clear they wrote this out for him. And the best they could come up that he would admit to was the use of a the use of a double negative. I mean, I think it's he, it's embarrassing. It's more as Dana says.